Hello once again, Goddard family. It's Mr. Miles here. I'm here with another activity for y'all. Uh, this one will be great for shape recognition, uh, fine motor skills, and just uh, logic and reasoning to be able to kind of put images together so we can learn our shapes while building on a bunch of other elements that go in with it. Let's get started. So I've got my supplies gathered. Um, dogs are not a requirement, but they are nice to have. Uh, I've got toothpicks, markers, and just a piece of paper. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start off with green because green is my favorite color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some toothpicks out. And this is just the setup. This isn't necessarily the activity itself. This is just more of a way so you can see what space you have. So let's say our, we want our kiddo to be doing a square. So here's what we're going to do. We put the toothpick down. Just do a dot there, a dot there, move it like this, a dot here, and like this, a dot there. So now we got four dots. They're kind of a little hard to see, so I'm going to bring the image up so you see those dots we have. And I'll do one more shape as an example. And you can use more than one toothpick at a time if it helps with the shape placement. And you can use different colors for different shapes if you want. So we've got our triangle there as well. So then what your kid's job becomes is you get all these toothpicks, pull out as many as you need. I'm pulling out this many just to make it easier. So what your kiddo's job is now is you put the toothpicks on the dots to line up and then once we're all done we should have a shape do any of my friends at home know what the shape is that's right it's a square and then we're gonna do the same thing with our other one so we got our toothpicks here so we're gonna line them up with the dots like that So we have our next shape. Do any of my friends at home know what that shape is? That's right, it's a triangle. So you can do this with all sorts of different shapes, wherever you have room. If you want to work on letter recognition too, another thing you can do is after they say what the shape is, you can spell it together so they say square. S, Q, U, A, R, E square and then if you really want to go above and beyond you can have your kiddo write the letter underneath it or trace it with a pencil depending on where they're at um, but yeah you can do this with squares triangles you can do it with stars but the stars may take a little more room just because there's a lot more into it so you might be doing that on one piece of paper by itself but the star would be more of a challenge. Same with more advanced shapes. And you get to dictate what shapes you want to do based on your kid's level. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed our toothpick shape lesson. Uh, I hope that y'all get a good amount of time on that to work on your shapes, letters, and just being able to connect the dots without having to really go with making specific pictures and imagery, just keeping it simple with just shapes to help build that recognition of vocabulary. Uh, I hope you will have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next video.